In this third part of the void planning, we want to add the linear void manager to the topic of collaboration. This tool makes life much easier for everyone involved, from the MEP designer to the architect and the structural engineer, and thus makes the entire collaboration process simple and safe. We start today, as in the last video, in the role of the MEP designer with the export of the void proposals for the structural engineer. This time, however, we are not assuming an open BIM workflow, but already know that the project participants are working with their own models, but also with Revit. So the linear void manager can be used for checking and inserting the openings and slots. If the structural engineer does not yet have the linear void manager in use, we can provide it to him free of charge via this link. Downloading and installing the app takes not even a minute. For the MEP designer, the first advantage of this method is already apparent. In the export, we need only the BCF file. It is not necessary to worry about exporting the void proposals as a model, for example in the IFC format. Let's switch now to the role of the structural engineer or architect who only loads the BCF file we exported into the Linear Void Manager in his model. The Linear Void Manager can be found within the Revit add-ins ribbon and no further linear installation is necessary to use it. So this free tool can be used by any Revit user. Now we open the BCF file received from the MEP designer and then see the list of void proposals. In this example, I've used only a small selection of the provisional void for illustration. But in practice, of course, the list here can become very long. This is why you can conveniently filter it. You can filter by status as well as by story or system, and also from combinations of these filters. As an example, I want to display all proposals which are located on the ground floor and represent a void for the supply air. Very easy. I'll now reset the filter again and we will have a look at how to edit each proposal. To review the proposals, I switch to the classify tab, which offers the appropriate tools. I can first view the individual void proposals here, and this works for individual proposals as well as for multiple proposals if you have more than one selected in the list. This function can of course also be used in 3D views. Let's have a look. If the shown void proposals are all right, whereby I can also use the size information in the dialog as additional information for the check, then it can simply be accepted. This provision of void is then automatically converted to an actual void in the architectural or structural model. Another option is to proceed the check for components and to accept or reject all proposals in a wall or ceiling or even multiple components at once. To do this, I first display all the proposals in the floor and if the suggestions made for a wall, for example, are basically all right, then I use the release component function and select the wall. Click on finish to confirm the selection and now all proposals in this wall are accepted and the openings are generated. I can still reject individual proposals. To do this, I select a proposal that does not match my requirements and display it in the void manager using mark selection. If I now reject it, the void is automatically deleted in the model. It makes sense to give a reason for the rejection via the comment function. In this case, for example, let's say no voids larger than 700 millimeters. This comment and also the answers of the individual design participants remain as a chat within the coordination process for the traceability of decisions. At the end of this step, I receive two results. First, a response BCF, which I can provide to the MEP designer. And second, a model with voids, which I can also provide again to all project participants. For the collaboration process, however, the BCF file is also sufficient. The MEP designer can then, as already demonstrated in the previous video, load this BCF into his model and coordinate it with his proposals. In the model, he then also sees the accepted, rejected and open proposals, including comments and can proceed. This creates a secure collaboration process that is comprehensible to everyone for the final definition of all voids in the project. That's workflow instead of workaround.